and welcome back to the channel it is chef sammy and we are cooking with patience and today i wanted to show you something a little different i saw some peach ice cream and i thought hey southern peach ice cream might be in so i want you all to make that with me today now you need a cuisinart ice cream frozen yogurt and sorbet maker all right it's going to make about one and a half quarts of whatever you're making and you want to make sure that you know how to set that ice cream maker up i did put a picture here so that you can see that the first thing i want you to do though i want you to get you some clean wrap that clean wrap is going to help you freeze that bowl so go ahead take the clean wrap put it on your table put the bowl in the middle of it okay and then you're going to wrap it you know going towards the left cut it secure it and then wrap it going towards the right cut it secure it and then put it in your freezer all right what we need you to do and when i say we i mean myself and the supporters of this channel um if you could share the video subscribe to the channel show your support let's talk about what we have on the schedule we're going to be blanching and shocking peaches we're going to make a puree we're going to make an ice cream base and then we're going to prepare the ice cream so yeah if you're like me and you're on youtube and you have this ice cream maker and you're looking and you're like okay i see a four minute video i see this video i see that video but i don't see anybody going from start to finish with a recipe hello i'm chef sammy yeah we are cooking with patience and i want you to be motivated and just stay encouraged while you're cooking now there are going to be several tools uh and several ingredients that you're going to need and i'm going to explain those as you know we're starting the process but the first thing i need you to do as far as you know safety and sanitation go wash your hands wash your hands for 20 seconds and then come back to this video all right now i need you to gather eight peaches all right if you don't have eight peaches stop this video go to the store grab eight peaches and then come back now i'm going to need you to rinse your peaches remove those stickers because you're going to score those peaches how do you score you take your knife your paring knife and you go through the little line that you already see and then you turn it a little bit and then you're going to make an x pretty much on the bottom just as you see pictured and then i need you to go ahead and grab a five quart dutch oven and put some water in it just enough for the peaches then we're going to turn on that stove medium heat medium to high heat bring that water to a rolling boil then i need you to stop right there go over grab you a bowl you're going to fill it with half ice cubes and the other half with water all right we're going to use that bowl to shop which pretty much is just going to stop the cooking process of the peach all right then we're going to go back to that dutch oven and we are going to put those peaches in there three at a time all right we're going to remove them after 25 seconds this is going to help you know the skin come off the tool that i'm using is called a skimmer all right you can find it anywhere you're going to start peeling the peaches now the water is going to be extremely cold and the peeling process might take a little while depending on the peach you have some where you know that skin is just going to come off pretty quickly and then you have other peaches that you're going to have to put up a fight you know and yeah it'll take a little bit longer and the peach might not look as nice as the other peaches look but you can still use it all right now that we um have done that i need you to grab a cutting board that nice cutting board that i use is a two-tone bamboo cutting board and i use a pear knife um, that i'm going to cut up the peaches with i'm going to slice half of them i'm going to have the other ones diced and i'm going to take the diced peaches that i have and i'm going to put them in the refrigerator all right so make sure you have a refrigerated container and then 
we need to grab a nine quart size uh, saucepan because we're gonna take those peaches that are not diced. We're gonna put some sugar in them. You know, not too much. And we're gonna cook the peaches just a little bit to make sure that the sugar is incorporated. We're gonna transfer those peaches to a bowl. And then we're gonna grab that immersion blender, plug it in, make sure that the bowl that you're using is on a flat surface. And then you're gonna turn on that blender and you're just you're just gonna go ahead and just blend on one until it turns into like a puree. And we're gonna use these peaches, of course, for flavor. And we're gonna pour that into a container and store it in the refrigerator. It's gonna be in there about 24 hours. And now, the moment that you've been waiting on, you're ready to make this ice cream base. You need to grab your ingredients. You need a cup of milk. You need two cups of heavy whipping cream. You need six eggs, two thirds of a cup of sugar, an eighth of fine sea salt, and one teaspoon a full of vanilla extract. I use McCormick extract. Measuring cups, measuring spoons, you're gonna need spatulas. I keep trying to tell y'all to get the three-piece spatula set from Cuisinart. You're gonna need what I call the Sexy Caddy Daddy, which is a stainless steel spoon rest. And then optionally, you can grab your ramekin. This is gonna be for presentation purposes. All right, now grab your bowl for your eggs. You're gonna go ahead, combine all of your ingredients and make sure you know you have the pot turned on. You're gonna pour it into the saucepan and then you're gonna keep going around and through the middle. What we're going to start doing is like tempering. All right, so grab those eggs, whisk those eggs up if you haven't already, and then the tempering process starts now. So you're just gonna use that bowl with the egg in and you're gonna start slowly pouring in the mixture. And then you're going to slightly whisk just a little bit, but you don't want it to scramble. Then you're gonna put the base back in the pan and you're gonna stir around. You're gonna move through the middle and then you're gonna grab your mesh strainer and slowly pour the ice cream base into it. So make sure you have a bowl dedicated for that as well. And then you might see a little bit of egg that's in the bottom. Grab your Rubbermaid container. This number is 20671177. It is a clear food storage container, eight and a half cups. You're gonna pour your ice cream base in it and you're gonna let it sit on the counter until it cools down. All right, it might take two and a half hours for this to happen. Do not try to rush the cool down process. All right, and then you are just basically going to refrigerate it. All right, let it sit in the refrigerator over um, night. And then the next day, go ahead, set up the ice cream maker. You're gonna put the base down, plug it in the wall, grab that freezer bowl, remove that clean wrap, and then you're gonna put in your mixing paddle and put on the lid make sure it's locked okay now turn on the mixer you're gonna pour your ice cream base in there all right you watch it a little bit it's going to turn you know after nine minutes go ahead and ladle in spore uh, go ahead and ladle in four spoonfuls of the peach flavoring all right and as it's continuing to churn, it's gonna start thickening. When you see it start to thicken a little bit, go ahead and take out those diced peaches and put it in there, all right? If you didn't notice, my peaches were frozen because I ended up removing them from the refrigerator and put them in the freezer just to make sure that they didn't spoil on me. Your ice cream is probably gonna thicken up maybe about nine, after 19 um, minutes. Taste the ice cream with a clean spoon. All right, and then throughout the churning, you want to continue to add in flavor or peaches, you know, making sure that it tastes great. Then you're gonna stop the mixer. You're gonna grab that same eight and a half cup container and you're going to make sure you unlock the mixer, remove the bowl, take the spatula, and you're gonna pour your ice cream into that eight and a half cup container. Now, after you do that, 
you're going to take your spatula and you're going to press that ice cream down so it's flat like you see it in the grocery store and you're going to place some cling wrap on top of it make sure that there isn't any air in there and then you put the lid on and you place the ice cream in the freezer overnight and then the next day you are going to take that ice cream out and get ready to go ahead with your presentation what i did was i placed the cutting board down i went ahead and i had to go purchase another peach i cut that um peach in half and i left one side whole and the other side I sliced into threes and that's kind of what I used to have like a little base and I scooped maybe about five um, spoons of ice cream in there and then I decided to take a pitcher and wine bowl and then um, you know enough to fill the ramekin in another and that's the presentation for the ice cream I hope that you enjoy this recipe and please, if you make it yourself, at me, because I would love to congratulate you as well as everyone else congratulated me. Remember that this ice cream is more like a soft serve, so it is going to start melting very quickly. You have to move incredibly fast for that presentation. But again, I hope that you enjoyed everything. This is the end of this video.